Hey, Marlon Prasad here, your local Center Florida Realtor, and today we're going to take a tour of this 3,000 square feet Andover model that's for sale over in Min Reserve in Mineola. Before we get into it though, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss any home tours, and of course, if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Florida, you can find my contact information down below. I would love to help you find the best fit of a home for you and your family. So without further ado, why don't you guys come with me? So this home that we're looking at here today, it's actually a resale home that was built in 2017. It is an Andover model. So if you guys have seen the Andover model tour that I've done at the Reserva Mineola here in my, on my channel, then this is basically the exact same home. Well, not the exact, this one doesn't have the downstairs master, but it's the same floor plan as that Andover. And this one has some really, really nice upgrades done to it. And they also have the, the four feet extension in the kitchen. So it's, it's very similar to what that model home has to offer. So let's go and take a tour around the side. Now this property is actually listed for sale by myself. It is going to be on the market on Thursday, August 15th. So if you're seeing this video before that, then you're in luck. You have a chance to maybe purchase before we get to market. So if you are interested in purchasing this home, then definitely reach out to me. I would love to help you if you don't already have a realtor. If you have a realtor, then have your real estate agent reach out to me and we can set up a showing for you. So as you can probably notice from the side of the home there, there's no stucco cracks. So all of the settlement cracks those were all taken care of the first year that this owner had the home it is a really nice color in my opinion as well too a great choice I like the green garage you have a really good sized patio as you can see that there's the extension for the kitchen that makes this home what it is in my opinion So the total square feet on this is about 2,936. It is a four bedroom, three bat home. There is a bedroom downstairs. So if you have a guest staying with you and you don't want them to have to go up and down the stairs, that's perfect. And as you can see, we do have two AC units. So this is perfect. There's one for upstairs and one for downstairs. This really helps in your cooling and your heating of your home. So, and it is Carrier as well too, which is a really great brand. And they also, and also another great thing is they also have a hybrid water heater as well too. So that is designed to save you even more money on your electric bill. As a matter of fact, the owners told me that their electric bill really weren't that high. Average is about $110, so $125 if that. The most they've ever paid was $200 and that was because they had, uh, they had a few parties and they had some relatives over. But yeah, look at the color scheme. How do you guys feel about this? I really like it. You know, this nice little tannish beige with the nice green. And then the, the stonework in the front with the red shutters. Yeah, they definitely chose a really good option here, in my opinion. So, as you can tell as well too, the grass is pretty much um, well kept as well too. There's no issues, no, no dead spots really. We've got nice mulching even have the little barriers as well too across the flower pots so that is nice so we got a recessed lighting right there the ring doorbell will actually come with the home as well the nest thermostats that's in here i'm telling you, you guys are gonna like this so all right so we just entered the home this is the foyer as you can tell the ceilings has a really nice design little tray design there, mini tray. This is actually kind of perfect the way this bench is right there. So it's a good sitting area. As soon as you come in, you can take off your shoes. Love the staircase here as well too. And as you can see, really nice wood on the staircase. There's no carpets in this house, guys. No carpets anywhere. You may see a rug somewhere, but yeah, there's no carpets. So, 
So we've got luxury vinyl wood. It matches really nice with this tile as well too. 18 by 18 tile laid in a brick pattern, which are, that's definitely an upgrade. Upgraded tile, upgraded pattern. The ceiling fan comes with the home. All the ceiling fans comes with the, this home as well too. This tray ceiling is nice, love that. This is technically your, this is what, what comes as a flex space. This is just open, so they're using it as a den. You can maybe use this as a kid's playroom for downstairs, or just make it a, a separate living room or a separate entertainment spot if you like. Also, notice the crown molding as well too. The entire downstairs living space here has, I think those are six inch crowns, which is real nice. And also, notice, the baseboards, we've got five inch baseboards all throughout this home. So like I was saying, some of the updates that they've done to this home are amazing. Really good upgrade features. Also, the blinds come with the home as well too. So, now this right here is the main, main feature of this home. This huge kitchen, great room, and then we have your casual dining space right there. But this right here has an extended island. That was like a $10,000 upgrade from the builder to get the kit, the island here extended. I believe I measured this before and I believe it's 13 feet. Imagine that guys, a 13 foot island, that's crazy. So the chairs do not come with the home. Um, as a matter of fact, the home comes unfurnished, but you will maybe see there's a few beds and some chairs around here they're still in the process of kind of moving stuff out so actually i think they'll negotiate those furniture with you so if you really like those chairs and it's something that maybe you want to have included with the home then we could definitely negotiate something out so notice the backsplash on this home as well too so really really nice you know that gray glass with the the fine tiny lines i love love this backsplash this is Definitely, that was a very costly upgrade from the builder as well too, as was this vented hood fan. So this right here is an amazing touch, especially if you cook a lot of food that you know has a lot of smell to it, like your curry or, honestly that's the only thing I cook that has a, a lot of smell to it. But this is perfect, it vents out to the outside. So you don't, yeah I'm sure you'll still get a little bit of the smell in here, but it's not as much as if you did not have that. And as you can see over here, we have the gourmet kitchen upgrade as well too, which your double ovens, the top here doubles as your microwave. And of course, the oven. So definitely a nice touch. Love the white cabinets. I mean, look at this granite countertops as well too. This design, this is, um, this is actually, I think one of the, the highest level of upgrade that you can get from the builder, but in combination with these white cabinets and then these, this wood floor. Honestly, guys, this is a gorgeous combination. If you're thinking about building a home anywhere in the world and you're looking for design ideas, then keep this in mind because this is, this is definitely a top notch right here. So love the pendant lining as well too. We've got four pendants. Notice the recessed lighting as well too. And we've also got the recess extended into this little casual dining. So, and yeah, well, here's your casual dining space. It's a real good space. Honestly, you can put a really large dining table here and just make this like a formal dining area and then use the long island right here as your casual dining. You know, maybe you eat your breakfast and you know your everyday meals right there. I love the fact that you can just mount your TV right there. So as you're washing your dishes, you get a perfect direct view of the TV so and yes another thing as well too yes notice the stainless steel farmer's sink love the faucet I forget what you call it but this right here was another expensive upgrade from the builder as well too and yes it works so whirlpool dishwasher here as well too now this home was only lived in from since 2017 and Honestly, they weren't even in a home for that long as well too, so it's really not that much lived in. There's also, if you have a kid and you are worried about the child blocks, they have those available that you can get as well too. Also, the shelf lining, those will all stay with the home. So this home is basically, as you see, is what you get. So 
and the price is 350,000, which is a great asking price for this home. So especially with all the, the, the upgrades that you get. And also you don't have to, well, as a matter of fact, you can't even get this home built like this anymore from Lennar in this neighborhood. They don't have any more lots available. They don't have any more available. They have an inventory home that's available, but it does not, it's not gonna look like this. It's not gonna have the gourmet kitchen. It's not gonna have that type of hood. It's not gonna have white cabinets. Um, it has a standard Brazilian granite, which is that black and white granite. So it looks nothing compared to this. And they're asking $340,000 for it. So in my opinion, guys, this is definitely a steal of a home. All right, we're gonna step out here. So yes, notice the double sliding glass doors here. That is nice. It makes this dining space here feel more open. So, and of course, as you go out here, your back patio. It's got a good ceiling height as well too. Actually, I forgot to mention, it's nine feet, four inch ceilings as well too. But yeah, you can definitely set up a nice little patio set back here, hang out, enjoy, enjoy your weekend, you know, book, maybe what you, whatever you do in your, your free time, you know, some good space to enjoy, just out, enjoy the outdoors. So, see so ya. Yeah. Yep, nine feet, four inch ceilings, as you can see here. The space feels nice and open. The fan does come included. You can get that painting if you'd like as well too. Um, let's see, oh yes, the pantry. How can I forget the pantry? I'm not even done with this kitchen yet. It's so much to cover, so, yes. So check out this pantry. It's deep, as you can tell. You know, it goes. And then that's not all, check this out. We've got more. That's right, so you can put like some of your big box and stuff like that storage there, but you got more than an ample enough uh, shelf space. So the pantry definitely matches the kitchen. I hate how some homes you might see like a really nice large kitchen, but then the pantry is so tiny, it's like, come on, man, can't even hold enough stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of go through so you can kind of see how everything looks. I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail of this home because this is the actual home that you get, that you would actually be purchasing. Uh, I don't know what's in the fridge, but okay, it's not that bad. So yeah, actually that's my water, but yeah. A really nice fridge, it is uh, the LG. I forget which model it is, but oh, it's got the little easy reach storage uh, space here. This is, this is a nice fridge. We've even got the, oh, we've got beers. So if you guys would like a beer, you know, just let me know. And, and we've got an insurer as well too. So we, we cater for everyone. So if you're interested in one of those, just let me know. Here, tell you what, if you want a beer, just let me know in the comment section and I will send this out to you. Just let me know in the comments and I will send you a beer. Or you can just come visit this house in person and I will personally give the beer to you. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but I guess we will find out. So yeah, now look, look at this space, guys. I mean, picture it. You put your nice couch, maybe a, maybe a L-shaped couch right there, or maybe you just two, two, two sectionals. You put your TV right up on the wall over there and then yeah, this is just, this would be an amazing, entertaining house. Let me show you guys some of the other storage over here. So we're back in the foyer here and then right next to the stairs, there is more storage. So no lack of storage in this home whatsoever. Man. I want you guys to get a good look at this. Now, like I had said earlier, one of the good things about this model, it's nice and open down here, but we still have a bedroom downstairs. So let me take you guys over to that corner. So we're going into this hallway now. And behind me is actually the garage access. I'm gonna take you there in a second 
It's kind of tricky because there's some personal belongings in there that I don't want to show on camera, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. So, so anyway, so as soon as you come in from this hallway here, you from not from this hallway, from this garage here, you're instantly greeted by the open space here. So no matter where you enter this home, you're automatically just grasped by the idea like, wow, this is a big home and this has some nice finishes. So if you're looking for that type of entrance, no matter where you come in from the home, then this is it. So, so when you come in from the garage here, the laundry room is actually separated here. So if someone comes in through your garage, you don't have to worry about them going through your entire laundry room. You can kind of keep this private. I've been noticing this a lot more with new construction homes. As you can notice, the washer and dryer does not come included with this home. Love the fact that there's a window in here as well too. There's no sink in the laundry room here, but there is a sink in the garage that I think you'd probably like. So this is your downstairs bathroom. This is the bathroom that whenever you have guests over, this is the bathroom that we'll use. Um, if you have a guest staying with you or if you have someone using this bedroom downstairs here, this is the bathroom that they will use as well too. So I like the fact that they put a recessed lighting in there as well too. The shower rod was in that laundry room. So you will get a, a shower curtain rod. So, but I love the little shelf that they put right there in the bathroom. So not a bad choice of tile color as well too. It's nice having the tub. And of course we have granite countertops in this bathroom as well. So all the uh, rooms, all the bathrooms have granite. So, so we've got a linen closet, a little, some linen storage right here before you get into that bathroom. And then right over here is where you actually have that downstairs bedroom. Hey, before we actually go into this bedroom though, I wanna ask you guys something. What are your thoughts on the color of this door, the, or the, the contrast with this door? They obviously, they painted it this dark gray versus it always coming white. I must say, I really like it. I, at first, I wasn't really, you know, I, it caught me off guard, but I really kind of like this. It really, you know, distinguishes that the hood, oh, that's a door, you know, and it really accents it. So, interested to know what you guys' thoughts are. Like I said, there's no carpets in this house whatsoever. So, this room, as well has the luxury vinyl planks, two windows letting in some natural light. You already have your blinds. It already comes with a fan. The bed does not come with it. However, if you really want the bed with this as well too, that is negotiable. And then check out the closet space in here. So, so for a guest, in my opinion, staying here, this would be more than enough. Or maybe you have an uh, older teenager that's staying and they want to be separate from everyone else. They can be down here, but, but that is it. That's your downstairs bedroom. So this little hallway right here controls all that. So it's really nice that you can actually still have this much of an open living space and still have a downstairs bedroom. One of the things with new construction homes is you kind of have to pick and choose. You see that you get the downstairs open space, you know, the living space open and all the bedrooms upstairs or, you know, or you maybe put a bedroom downstairs, but you may lose a little bit of that living space. So anyways, let me show you guys this garage feature that I want to show you real quick. So we're going to, we're going to back up into it. All right. So the door closes by itself automatically. That's one of the standard features now with, um, with builders. The wood that you see over here, these will actually come included with the home. This is just some spare wood. Your electric panel is right here. Uh, your garbage cans, just so you can kind of see the finish of the floor. Now this is a three car garage. So it's actually rare to find these models with a three car garage. So if you're looking for a three car garage, your options are actually kind of limited. So yeah, this is the sink that I was telling you about that's inside of the garage here. So they already have the plumbing ran for it. You can change out the sink if you want something a little bit more fancy, or if you want to maybe put an outdoor kitchen, uh, not a, a garage kitchen here in here. I mean, that is a possibility because I mean, the plumbing is there. That helps a lot. And then check this out. This is a hybrid water heater. So this right here is going to save you a lot of money in terms of the heating of your, the, the water. Actually, yeah. So 
estimated yearly energy cost $163 on this unit. Most other units that you look at, I'm pretty sure if you look at your unit, it's gonna say about $400 at least on that. So, so this is a great, great addition. This was an upgrade as well too from the builder. So another great touch. So I can't show you guys everything else behind me uh, because there's some personal belongings that we don't wanna showcase on camera, but it is a three car garage. It's a really good size. The floors are finished nicely. There's no damages whatsoever. It's, it's a really nice garage. I think you guys would definitely, definitely love that. So but yeah, just keep coming back to this, this space right here. This is just, this is what sells it. Man, I'm sweating and I've only covered half the house. We've got to go upstairs, so come on. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this downstairs living space though. I mean, is this something you can see yourself living in? I mean, cause I know I can. All right, so up the stairs, love the, the staircase. Everything about this home, honestly, it's, it's really, really nice. I must commend the owners for the selections that they have made. Even the baseboards, as you can see, as we're going up, even the upstairs, the baseboards are that five inch baseboard. That is a simple touch that just makes your home feels so much more luxurious. So anyways, as soon as you come upstairs here, we do have an upstairs loft, so you can use this as a second living space if you'd like. Straight across there, that would be the master bedroom. We do have a bedroom over in this corner with a bathroom. And then we have another bedroom right here. So let's start in this corner. Before you enter this bedroom, there's actually the two air handler upstairs here. And I like how they kind of have this in like a separate room. You can kind of store some stuff away, some essential stuff that you may need while you're up here. Also the data center as well here. So when they come to activate your internet and all that stuff, those will all be here. Oh, also I forgot to mention, this home actually comes pretty hardwired with the ADT or any alarm system as well too. That was an upgrade from the builder. So essentially what that means is that if someone came to your home and was trying to break in, they can't just cut off your internet and have your alarm system be deactivated. You know, it's all connected hardwired to the home itself. So less chances of them getting in without the alarm. So all the rooms are about the same size. I think they're 11 by 11 by 12. So uh, don't quote me on that, but that's what they feel like. They definitely don't feel small by any means. So this is a standard, I want to say eight by two closet. So, oh, we have no gray door in this one. Oh man. I guess they skipped this side, it's okay. So yeah, upstairs living space. Wait till you guys see the master shower. If you haven't gotten sold already on this house from that downstairs living space, then just wait till you see that master shower. So. Also, let me know how you guys feel about this vinyl um, plank. I love this color and this texture that they use here. It's, it's definitely nice. I would definitely see myself using something like that. So nice view out the front. You know, you come with another fan as well too. All right. So that's another bedroom, obviously. And this is the upstairs secondary bathroom. So this is bathroom number two. And as you can see, we kept the granite in here as well. Like that we have a window and then of course, like the, the recess lighting in the shower as well too. And right behind it, we actually have some bonus linen storage, so no lack of storage in this house whatsoever. So this room over here in this corner actually has a nice walk-in closet. 
another ceiling fan. Oh, also you can probably tell there's uh, rods for curtains, if that's something you'd like to add. You get the blinds already included, but these rods will come with it as well too. So if you wanna add your drapes or your own custom blinds or whatever the case, you can definitely do that as well. This room here has a good size walk-in closet. You store a little bit more bulkier items here. So, I don't know, kids might probably end up fighting over the, these two rooms here. We have similar size as the other room, so not much in the size, it's really just arguing about the closet space. So this room here does have direct access out of this living space. That room there, you kind of have to walk across. So anyways, let's, oh, also, like I mentioned, Nest thermostat does come included with this home. They also have one downstairs that controls it as well as the ring doorbell. That'll come included as well too. So before we enter your master here, there's more storage. So like I said, no lack of storage on this home. And voila, your master. Lovely tray ceilings. We even have this little cross beam up there. The bed does not come included with this home. However, I mean, if you'd like to negotiate the bed as well too, that is something they would be open to, but I'm sure you probably have your own furniture. And also here, you can see the rod is here, so you can put your own blinds, your drapes, whatever. Really, really good size master. This is probably, well, let's see, if I wanna say 16 by, 16 by 13. This is a big room. If you guys want the actual dimensions, I will put a link in the description to a floor plan. I also put a link in the description to the listing, the current listing as well too of this home. So you can see um, all the additional information as well too. But now let me show you guys this master. So we do have a tub. I know a lot of folks complain about not having the tub in a lot of homes these days because not a lot of people select the tub to be honest with you so the fact that they chose it here definitely a plus so if that's something you're looking for you have it here even got you the video recording and so we've got the uh, Vanity section that you can kind of put a little chair, do your makeup. Let's look at what's inside of this drawer. So this is a plus. I know a lot of ladies uh, request this in their home, but yeah, we've got the tub and we've got a nice stand-up shower. I love the design that they have as well too. So notice the frameless glass doors as well too. Real nice, but yeah, let's see what it's like to be in here. So we've got the bench. I love the little, um, shelf that they put right there the tile work is nice but this is perfect i mean honestly i i feel like just hanging out right here like i can just see myself chilling here i would put a tv that has like a a swivel like over there i would take off that that towel bar you don't need to put a towel there you can find some play someplace else for that but yeah put a little tv you know have it mounted there and i can just chill here and watch the news this is perfect I like this. Let me know your thoughts on this shower. Can you see yourself hanging out here? I don't know. I might have to pause this video and come back because I don't know, I'm kind of liking it here. But now I'm gonna get, get going. Let's, uh, let's, let's see the remaining of this. Actually, we're at the last, the last room really. So, so obviously I like that the the toilet is separate and then of course this is your master closet and of course you got an attic space there as well too you can add some additioning additional shelving there if you'd like but yet yeah, no carpets guys even the closet has the luxury vinyl wood so the owners definitely 
definitely did not spare much expense with this home. They did as much as they possibly can. Very great value adds. If you are thinking about purchasing a home or building a home or whatever the case, and you're looking for ideas, this is, take notes. This is definitely great options that this, um, that this owner chose. So, but yeah, so we're back out to this huge master. So, let me know what your thoughts are on this home. Let me know if you guys like the, the details in this home. Like, do you like, love the fact that they have this window with the blind right there as well too, letting in some more light here to this hallway. Yeah, let me know if you like the color combination of this home. And let me know if you can see yourself living here. Anyways guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you are thinking about purchasing this home, then feel free to reach out to me. The property is listed for sale by myself, so I do represent the seller. If you have a real estate agent, then just have them reach out to me and we can set up a showing for you to come see this in, in personal tour. Um, if, you're not, if you don't have a realtor already and you're looking for representation, I can definitely represent you as well too. So feel free to reach out to me. You can find my contact information down below. But let me know what your thoughts are overall in this home. If you were spending $350,000 in the Mineola area, is this something that you would actually consider? Because I think it is something that you must consider. Considering the square footage, the layout, the features that this home comes, you couldn't build this model with reserve in Mineola anymore, like with these, with this, uh, with these specs. So if you're looking for an Andover model in this neighborhood, Actually, there's not many other neighborhoods, there's no other neighborhoods that has this Andover model for sale. So if you're looking for this model, your options are pretty limited. This is a great option, it's a great buy, it's priced well. Honestly, I think you guys will really, really like this if you actually even came and see it in person. So if you are interested in purchasing, then definitely reach out to me. But So the Mineola area here is developing tremendously. I don't know if you guys know about this, but the county, Lake County, has already pledged $30 million worth of updates and business and stuff like that. And just, just a lot of development that's happening in the downtown Claremont area. So we're right within minutes away from downtown Claremont. As a matter of fact, the area that we're in right now, if you need to get to Disney, you're looking at about 35 minute drive. If you need to get to downtown Orlando, it's about a 35 minute drive as well too. The airport is probably gonna take you about 40 minutes. Um, so, I mean, keep that in mind. I mean, most places that you need to get to, or if any places are around those locations, then you can get there within a, a fair decent amount of time. So, uh, let's see what else is there. Uh, Epic Movie Theaters. That's about 12 minutes away from here. So, if you're in the Claremont area, you're, you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Your movie theater is right down the road. Uh, Walmart, Target, all within 10 minutes. BJ's, uh, 10 minutes. Honestly, there's not really much that you would have to drive far to go. If you want to go to the beach, it'll probably take you about two hours to get to Clearwater Beach, which is one of the nicer beaches that I usually recommend. But other than that, I mean, every single thing that you need to get to, if you work in Orlando, you can commute to work in less than 45 minutes with traffic. So the Turnpike exit is about not even five minutes down the road from this location. Uh, they're opening up um, a road over here that's going to access you to 27. You can quickly get to downtown Claremont. Honestly, guys, I can't say enough good things about the Claremont Mineola area. It's going to be the next winter garden. I guarantee it, it will be the next winter garden. The fact that we have the bike trail that goes through Lake, Mineo uh, Lake Mineola, we have the boat ramp right there. The city is pledging $30 million to just developing that area. We have a lot of businesses, a lot of restaurants, a lot of nightlife activities that's coming out there. Uh, so we have some live music bands that, that play out there. So if you guys haven't had a chance to go to the downtown Claremont area, then I would highly recommend you go and check it out. Uh, like the Claremont Brewing Company, uh, Montrose Street Market. There's just a whole bunch happening down there. So I'm sure you probably heard that from a lot of the locals around here as well too. But let me just be the next person to tell you or to confirm that yes, Claremont is developing really, really well. A lot of upside. Great area for appreciation in uh, house prices. And as you can see, you get some really, really nice houses for the prices. 
this home over in Winter Garden, you're spending $450,000. It's just a fact. But the fact that you're here in Claremont right now, you can get in early because I'm telling you, eventually, this will be like Winter Garden. Trust me, I see it. I can see it happening. But anyways, enough ranting. Let me know what your thoughts are of this home. Let me know if you definitely want to, uh, if you think about purchasing this. If you know someone that this home may suit their needs and you know they're in the market, then make sure you send this video to them so they can kind of check it out. So I'm sure they will thank you for it. So, but anyways guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps me out as far as the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you like these home tours, then feel free to subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss any of these new home tours. And of course, if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Florida, feel free to contact me. My contact information is down below. But just like that, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Peace.